Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with another video for you guys. Something a little bit different. It's going to be partially a haul and then also my first trip to the new Wegmans in Brooklyn, New York, which is amazing. The food is so fresh and delicious. So I wanted to share some of my favorites, some of the things that have become staples and just give you guys a look inside in case there's a Wegmans near you. I got the items from the haul mainly from Amazon Fresh. It's really convenient because they deliver and a lot of these items are hard for me to find anywhere else. Plus the pre-brand beef, the grass-fed beef is also grass finished and it's one of the most inexpensive ones that I've found anywhere. And then of course I had to go ahead and pick up some eggs because I go through them like crazy. Eggs are definitely a staple in my keto diet. I put them in almost everything. You can't go wrong. I also grabbed some chicken thighs and wings and drumlets to make for meal prep and then got a whole rotisserie chicken for grab and go eat quick and easy, no fuss. I only realized how much I like sardines and mackerel for that matter once on keto. So they have great omega-3 fats and it's so easy to whip up like a little salad, you know, like you would do tuna salad, but it's a nice twist so I had to grab some of those. I also got some boneless pork chops just for a little bit of variety. They are higher in protein, but zero carb and nine grams of fat, so you can make it work in your macros. Remember from my last meal prep video that I love the chicken and maple sausage by Applegate Farms, and I wanted to try the one with sage this time and did not disappoint. Another recent favorite is the Mission Brands Carb Balance Soft Tortillas. Great to use for BLTs or any kind of keto sandwich wraps. And then of course had to grab a few avocado because I eat so many of them throughout the week. I also picked up some of my favorite keto friendly veggies like cauliflower, brussels sprouts, asparagus, cucumber, tomato, the usual. I've really been enjoying the natural heaven noodles. Their only ingredient is hearts of palm and so I grabbed some of the Rouse homemade tomato sauce to do some spaghetti meatballs and sauce. That sauce is amazing, the noodles are amazing. I highly recommend both. I then grabbed some butter lettuce because it's just one of my favorites along with romaine. I recently found this Asiago style dressing by Brianna's home style. Caesar Asiago, it is so fantastic. I would highly recommend it, love it. I'm also a big fan of the Primal Kitchen dressing so I decided to grab some ranch. I was almost out of my Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce and I'm definitely planning to make some uh, buffalo style wings with the wings and drumlets that I got so I picked up some of that too. There are very few of my hauls that don't include Bubby's Pickles because they're my favorite. They're delicious. I was super curious about how nachos would come out with Mission Carb Balance wraps so I grabbed some of the Rotel and the Velveeta to make a queso. Queso came out great, still working on the tortillas. Comment below and let me know if you'd like to see a keto nacho tutorial and I'll get that out soon. I've been in love with halloumi cheese since I ever tried it. It's a frying cheese and so delicious. It gets a little bit crispy on the outside and it's creamy on the inside. I did see it at Wegmans for less than Whole Foods so just keep an eye out. I also picked up some fresh mozzarella and Swiss cheese to round out the cheese selection. I can never have enough cheese. Okay, now on to Wegmans. They just opened a brand new supermarket on Flushing Ave in Brooklyn down by the dockyards and this supermarket is amazing. The people there are so friendly, everybody is willing to help. All the food looks so fresh, a lot of the prices are great. Some things are pricier than others, you just gotta know you know, what to get here or maybe what to get at Trader Joe's or what to get at Whole Foods and figure that out. But they've got some amazing keto friendly options. Similar to Whole Foods, Wegmans has a really nice little coffee station and then a lot of other pre-made food stations, different styles of foods to choose from. I found that some of the meats were pretty much on par with the prices at Whole Foods. I think the difference with Wegmans is that you can end up getting organic Wegmans brand for about the same price as conventional foods at Whole Foods. They also had a wide variety of cooking and dressing oils, one of which I tried is their Wegmans basting oil that I put on wings. Really good, worth trying. I also noticed that in addition to Swerve, which you can find at Whole Foods, Wegmans has the Lakanto sweetener, which is also really good. Plus their coconut flour is like $3.99, which is a great price. Now don't get me wrong, Kerrygold is still my favorite, but just so you know, Wegmans does have their own grass-fed butter, and I also found this amazing Amish-style butter.
I also figured it was just worth mentioning, especially for those of you who are doing meatless keto, that Wegmans does carry the impossible ground beef. They have the Beyond Beef and they also have the Beyond Sausage. Okay everyone, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Comment below whether you find the best prices at Whole Foods, Wegmans, or Trader Joe's, or somewhere else. And also comment to let me know if you guys would like to see more keto food hauls just like this one. Until the next one, be well. Bye!